that's for them to question at the time and all. Uh, so I'm like, uh, is it teacher or student? Uh, who's to be, who's, who has, whose responsibility is, it, is this to, 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 um, I don't remember what it said. Hold on there. Hot topic. Hot topic. <laughs> A very hot topic today. Yes. Okay, so I got it. I want to know if we're on. Can you check to see if we're on? Yes, we're on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Let me check. YouTube. YouTube. I think we're on YouTube too. I guess I have to check the other live thing. And then I go to LinkedIn just to make sure that we're on LinkedIn. You know, we, we, oh, our, oh, our, oh, oh, um, our community should be able to just tell us right off the bat that we are here. You know, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, I know we're, I know we're there. We're on LinkedIn, and and so I don't see the YouTube one come up yet. If we're on, if we're on LinkedIn, we're on YouTube, and we're on um, Facebook because they all are. Yes, we are live on YouTube. Okay, I don't see the YouTube one. All right, what we are. All right, so good evening, everybody. This is Leo Gilling, and uh, I have uh, the, the leader tonight, who in Michelle Fanger, who stars the show tonight. You see her, uh, um, you know, showing off the hair and all of them good Hi, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, the, the beautiful... Michelle Fanger in Florida. Right, so you know it's, it's Florida and Florida tonight. We have no Jamaica at all. On yay! <laughs> we don't have no. We don't have no Jamaica on tonight. So um, you know, Frax Saturday she missing. Tonight she missing. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is great. Um. Yeah, we have yeah. said hello, Leo and Michelle again. Dr. Diana is missing home. She's well, she's well, she's just commuting. Yeah. And Anita said, Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good night. How are you guys? It's good to see you. It's good to be here on a, on a Tuesday night. It's um, uh, I, I do have to do a lot of apologies tonight because I, you know, um, we advertised that the Minister of State and the Minister of Foreign Affairs was going to be here tonight, but um, unfortunately, scheduling conflict, he said, um, based on word that we got, that there's a conflict in schedule. And so, you know, for the rest of the night, I'm going to be apologizing. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get, um, we'll get uh, the, uh, some teachers on tonight. You know, uh, there's a hot topic. Oh there. my God! It will be an attack by teachers. What are they going to be talking about? The incident? <laughs> yep. We. I. I. I want to 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 hear from the the leadership. Uh, you know, in the education arena, uh, how they feel about what took place. What are they doing to mitigate these kind of uh, issues? Um, you know, so the first video that came out yesterday was of, of, that. YouTube people, YouTube people were on, so you could come in. I know, I told you that we were on. <laughs> so we had an incident of a student and teacher, and uh, one of the first one of the first videos that came out, we saw the teacher and the student going at it, banging. You know, like a, it wasn't a, a fist to fist, but it was almost like a fist to fist. And then the other, uh, you know, later on, another video came out, surfaced, and we found that that uh, the student was the initiator of of uh, of of of, um, of the whole incident. That he, in fact, was 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 uh, suspended and should not have been on campus and the teacher asked him to leave and he slapped the teacher in his in her face and then the fight ensued so i wonder is there anything that we could do to i don't want to show that video by the way it's disturbing enough for me 
to see a teacher uh, who's um, who, who seemed to be in in uh, oh Lord oh Dr. my God. Diana has arrived. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, oh, oh Lord of mercy. And, and I was so happy, I was so happy. So it's just me, you know, just two Floridians right here just having fun tonight. I thought that was going to be, you know, the thing tonight, you know? You're all wicked, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all wicked. <laughs> Donna! What's up? Eh? Welcome well, tonight now. No, what happened Saturday? Because somebody told me that we need to fire you because you were missing the whole day Saturday. Well, Saturday, let me tell you, Saturday was commencement service at St. Mary's University. And you know how it is. It's not like I just can't stand up in the audience. I have to go into the people them presidential suite. I have to mingle with the people them. And then I have to... Oh, we're not getting a picture. Oh, we're not getting a proof. Oh, we don't get no proof at all. Well, my bishop has the proof, so I'm going to need to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a wonderful ceremony and everything went well. It started at 10 o'clock, so that was a real kicker that, you know, yeah. would have been a direct conflict. How much people got it? 300 and, about 350, oui. 360. Right. Undergraduate right through to um, doctoral. Oh wow, that's nice. There and watch them that's celebrate good. and hear them family. Anybody from your college? Yes, we had seven persons who attended from college, but we have a, far more than that who completed the program. Oh okay, congratulations. Good job. Good job. Um, well, I, it, coming in for you. In, my, in my next life, in my next life, I want to go to CCM. In Mandeville. Catholic College of Mandeville. Very yes. Good. In, my, in my next life. In my next life. We can always arrange it for you now because we're going to look at some partnerships to offer doctoral programs. So you can always come and do that. Oh, I can. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so I don't have to wait until the next life then. No, you don't have to wait. Till the next all right. All right. So all sure right. about it. Actually, <laughs> said FB was so sad. Anissa said, hi, Dr. Diana. Welcome. Diana saw said greetings all lady Diana June said he was celebrating your absence. <laughs> the leader when they celebrate your absence. You see, thank you very much for telling me. You see that no, 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 no the truth. Lord said that type of behavior should not be tolerated any place on planet Earth. What happened with respect in our society? Welcome, Dr. Diana. Yeah. You, oh, they're talking about the, 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 the war, the, the fight. Yeah. Disha said the teacher was an older woman and had opportunities to leave instead of engaging. She could have lost her life or severely injured. Maureen said, hi, guys. Carlene said, Leo, you are breaking up. I am? Me I woke up. I am. Liam <laughs> said she did not miss it as we are talking about teachers. Leo was not showing you any love. Oh, my. Everybody has snitched by, you know, Leo. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you okay, very much. people. Remember, I'm here. I'll be commenting. So, you know, <laughs> uh, that, oh, they, hey, listen, they must forget about uh, Michelle tonight. You know, I, I died at the thing tonight. <laughs> Maxine said, I'm glad my mother stopped teaching and retired. Maxine, not you alone. Glad. Every time I see the news, I'm glad she retired. My mother. So, you know, one of the things that I wonder about, and I, I forgot to do the, the, the research, I, I, I'm going to do it and, and, and see. Because I want to wonder, I'm wondering if these things are so prevalent in other countries. I want to I wanna, I wanna see Jamaica versus the rest of the world with the, 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 the disrespect that teachers get in classroom. And, it, and it's not just in classroom, you know. Because lately, I have seen a lot of other companies, organizations, calling for teachers' heads on, um, you know, um, if they can't do this, they need to go. Or they, if they're not doing this, they need to go. We need to stop that. We need to support teachers who are putting their lives on the line as this woman did because um we are not in her position we are not
not in her position to say whether or not I want to just take off this boy head or I want to walk away. Because if somebody comes up and box me, I cannot I cannot be blamed for what I do after after. I, I'm telling you, when you get box, when you get box, it's not just a licking up. It's saying that oh yo, oh yo, bo, oh yo, where? Now this yo, pretty much. When somebody box you, that's the hottest feeling, in other words. It's not just a thump. So, Leo, any kind of abuse is abuse, you don't matter. <laughs> or is a box. No so man. Any type of abuse is not to be tolerated. But I think that there's a bigger issue. It's not just a disrespect to the teacher, but it is a poor reflection on the upbringing of, of our children um, or, or the need for our children to be able to express themselves some other way. Um, other than that, but they express it in that way because this is what they see. So there, there's a there's an issue about parenting in Jamaica. There's an issue about classroom behavior and classroom management. There are lots of issues that we will have to address singularly before we can begin to focus on what happened in that institution. What happened is not just somebody boxing somebody or somebody shoving somebody or a, a, a minor being abusive to an older person or an older person losing their, their self-control and responding and reacting. It's, it's, it's a much bigger picture for me than that. I agree with you, Dr. Diana. It's a bigger picture, but I do believe though the teacher should have walked away. The reason why I say that is this. We don't know what that child would have come with. Like, I understand she was angry. If I was in that, her shoe, I would act differently. But that's her. But to me, every, while I was watching it, I was like, is he going to pull a knife? Is he going to pull something on her? Like, I'm like, leave the class, protect yourself. That's what I was thinking when I saw her. But then it's like everything gone to the wind. And she was more, as Leo concerned, I want box stones. So it kind of like embarrassing and you're less than. So I guess that's how our mind was operating. I don't know. You were, you were less, she was less than. Yeah, man. Yeah. Once, once somebody clean them, but safety first, right? Like not necessarily, not necessarily, because you, yeah, you, you are, you're, you're a human right? being. Yeah. When somebody come in and box you, you are actually saying to them, "You're less than me." Pretty much, you, you said it, and and she's she she get boxed, and she's also thinking, "But this boy, I think, say me 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 not nothing." So her role next is to get control of her situation and the only way that she thought that she could do that the only way she thought that she could do that is to fight and make him less than her that's that's what she was that's what she was doing but in that moment she was less than him the two of them look like two little rug rat or whatever no 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 herself down to a level when she was there tugging with this little kid she did no 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 not at all i don't see it that way the guy, when we when we found out later on that the, the, the kid is a drug dealer, he sells weed on the campus, and he was and he was and he was and he was hold on. The police, the report says he was selling drugs and he was suspended and off the campus and he should not have been on the campus. And so, Everybody, hold it. That is exactly right. He should. He was dressed in, in clothing to, to, to come to school. But, but you guys are not looking at it. But but you see the bigger picture. We have to stop looking at that little incident and look at the bigger the picture. So we have to deal with the incident. Break down in discipline. But we know that all aspects. No, but what do we do? Talking is not the solution. Of course, but we have to talk about it. But what is the way forward? No, but we don't. Okay, have but we can't talk about the way forward after we don't ask out the ask out the the. the, 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 the. Just say one go on, ask out the one. No, no, no. Let's say one thing. It's kind of strange that he was in full uniform on that campus. Like in the alert security. It speaks to the indiscipline. Exactly. In the Everybody failed that teacher. Not only that student coming out, but the school failed to protect that teacher. The school failed to protect. The students. And then you don't want the teacher to protect herself. We we are talking about Tivoli. A Tivoli, that's a mess of why she go fighting that Tivoli with this. Girl. Because she believed that she because she believed that she can get the upper hand. She would not fight if she didn't believe that she couldn't get out, get the upper hand. What do you mean she fight only because she of fight to protect herself? Response. It's a natural response. Exactly. She responded. 
You're being really? the prime she minister reacted. of, of course. She sat and contemplated and said, well, let me fight. She just I reacted as all humans would. No, Absolutely. no, I'm very calm on that. But remember the prime minister different. Different. of Canada. Could there, I there's this something? thing called fight or flight. Absolutely. Some people fight. Some But remember when they slapped the prime minister of Canada, remember? Somebody attacked him. He never reacted. I don't know who that is. Shudu or what, what name? The Prime Minister of Canada. Shudu. Yeah, they, somebody slapped him. But he never reacted. But let me read the comments. They are getting out of hand. <laughs> uh, Maxine said, okay, Maureen said, we need to rescue our education system and stop pussyfooting around the issues of discipline and schools authority. Yeah, yeah. June said, that there are just as prevalent in our countries I have had chairs thrown at me and been boxed down, partying fights many times. Okay, so maybe I put myself in the line of fire in the UK. It happened every day. <laughs> and June is a big person, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> Disha said, I have a whole new respect for educators after homeschooling during the COVID lockdown. Takes a special person to teach. That is true. Mm, Murray said, true, Leo. And as I always say, a teacher's biggest enemy is his or her workmates because the colleagues are giving the teacher the blame, saying that she's a trained professional, so she needed to take the high you road. Can't, you can't do that. No, can't work. No. Sharon said, the video I saw I didn't see the student strike the teacher. What I saw was a student pushing the teacher away from him and then the teacher picking up a chair, a desk, actually, to strike the student. VM said, when we are not in the situation... Ominous, we can, say, we can say anything when we're not in the situation. You Absolutely. Do what we would do. <laughs> yeah. Justin should do. Yeah, that's him. He was yeah. back. Beverly said the classroom even represent a microsystem, micros, whatever, the larger society. Microcosm. 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 Microcosm of the larger society. Disrespect and angry communication is a norm. That is true. Exactly. That's how control ourselves. After them part the fight, the teacher grabbed the boy and held on. Okay, so, so so after the video that she saw, the one that you saw where the kid pushed the teacher and the teacher took up chair and uh, oh, on, but there was a previous video which came out where the kid went up and boxed the teacher just after the teacher asked him to leave the class, and that's why what you saw was the second segment of the video, but the first segment was where the teacher asked the kid to leave the classroom and the kid didn't like it and didn't go up and box her. So, Leo, we are talking about the second segment. May begin to figure, say, a Shakespeare where I watch and this a Macbeth where act one, <laughs> act one scene. Act one, act, exactly, yes. Crazy. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> um, Michelle, you had skipped over two things where Disha Watson says, we uh, have to pick our battles, not arguing with nobody. I don't want to oh, be. I've never seen that one. And oh, I've never seen that yet. Leah just cut me off. Oh, oh. yeah, I did. But um, Jeff said, after they part the fight, the teacher grabbed this boy and held on. Lon said, I see the teacher's acting like a parent trying to discipline her child. It's totally unacceptable for a student to behave like that. Where is the, the respect? Beverly said, classroom event. Sandra said, the children are just out of control and everybody's just fed up with them. Johnny said, hi, guys, got here late, Mr. Topic. We're just talking about a fight. But in, in reality, I really do want to find out how much of this happened in the other parts of the world. That's, a, that's an important thing. already story. started the conversation. She's telling you that yeah. there's fight and indiscipline in England as well. But she get... She get she don't only get boxed out when she tried part fight. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like everybody at top of the fight, but don't you appreciate the boys that jump in? When last is it? No, oh, that should have happened a long time ago. No, it should have happened like he came because yeah, listen, oh, there was one kid like that came in. He there was like one kid that jumped in front of the camera. Is this a joke? You know, this is not no, a joke. That's why I said I appreciate the one that stepped in. Like, he looked like he's a prefect or somebody. I don't know. That tall guy that stepped in and said stop, and he was talking to both of them. 
I respected him for doing that. Usually just them a video and a laugh like the rest of students. But he walked in with like, somebody else and tried to stop it. It's funny how our lives have changed, D-Man, because I remember growing up. We don't get to get so close to teacher to, to I mean, not even, not even mentally. We don't even think about harming a teacher. We don't think about touching a teacher too hard or brushing on them too too too, too closely. I mean, you that that's not even something that we did. It, it, it didn't come in our psyche to to to, to be to, to 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 think that because teachers are always in a different realm than we were as kids. Here, the teacher, a high, put aside over there, so. Teachers are revered in societies, but it is your upbringing that inculcated that within you. You didn't just come yeah. upon it. It's your upbringing. It's your parent. It's a community. It's it's a value system, and and it escaping us all. It escaping the students. It escaping those the people who from the society who become teachers. These people are coming from the society and we can't separate a teacher from the society. So I don't believe that we should be holding a teacher to a high standard. Teacher shouldn't did respond. Teacher is a reflection of the society as oh. well. No, I'm not saying she shouldn't respond. Okay. I'm, saying yeah, that no. I'm not saying that you are, but I'm just saying that I'm saying that is how I feel. That some people out there are saying teacher should have walked the other way and turned our cheek. Teacher are human and teacher come from the same oh, no. society. Um, uh, Diana, Diana, you should better we, really comment them for it's over 20 I see. Should we <laughs> listen, Diana? Listen, stop it, stop it. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I'm the only one who should be making another noise and getting upset on okay, I have the right to do that. Like you. Nobody now make no noise like you. Make noise. <laughs> you shall read the missus because I'm holy that I feel for read. You hear you on YouTube? Yes. Maureen said, yes, everyone beating up a teacher so children act out at school disrespecting teachers. <laughs> yes, Something got to give. Garvin said, me just a bus through because bad mind people hack my phone so it's not working. Oh my, hush. <laughs> Come to all good night. Liam said, how old is the youth? He's 16 years old. Beverly said, kudos to the students who parted the fight. BM said, thank you very much. And I said, I don't think he wanted to fight the teacher. June said, what worries me even more is it <laughs> What she... How okay, you? And I have no regard for other people. Read your Michelle. No, no, I let her be able to return to school. Will she be safe? Look at the news story about the 15 year old camper down female student found with a gun. <gasps> Vaccine said before the reaction of the students were laughing, etc., before they stepped in to help. Beverly said, Leo, you're talking about a time when respect was the norm. Disrespect is not the norm. Um, so, so Nikki East says she's a teacher. Nikki says, Halifax girl. Right now, teachers need six months training at the soldier camp to protect themselves against children and parents. <laughs> six months. <laughs> oh my God, she's so mess. Yeah, but um. When is teacher logging on? What was the last comment you read a while ago? Because I, I think I heard something like that from Black. Yeah, no, that's why if you focus in and stop get distracted. Hold on, Facebook just go. Then it goes to like I'm here. I'm here. Says, this. Leo, you're talking about a time when respect was the norm. Disrespect is not right. The norm. Okay, so I, I heard something last night. Yes. No, it's, it's eight thirty. You don't have a guess. Yeah. Yes, oh, so let me. Just I, stop, I, come on. I apologized I'm earlier. Oh, oh. I apologized earlier that. Uh, the Minister of State and the Minister of Foreign, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade was supposed to be here at 8.30 tonight. Mm. But um, at last minute, I got a message that he that there's a conflict in schedule. And so he couldn't make it here tonight. Okay. Janice said, we were taught to respect our elders, which includes teachers, police, etc. The morality of respect is not teach anymore, taught anymore. Jean said, they are not wearing the teacher shoes. Boy, I need to box the him. <laughs> I don't know. I hope um, No, no, Jean. No, Jean. We're not, we're not going to with that. No, I, 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 have to, no. I have to admit, what I was asking Blacker last night is that our 
our lives have changed in a big way in Jamaica, um, and 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 children aren't 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 children as we 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 we, we left there. Um, me personally, um, Diana still deals with it because she's in Jamaica. Uh, our children aren't children that we left. They're very very they're 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 very different, and so it requires a certain type of teaching skills to be able to uh, to to meet those new standards and 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 i think that uh sometimes as a as a as a teacher you have to know when to hold when to fold when to walk and when to run but if 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 the teacher but she in her mind might be thinking if I back down, then I become weak in this neighborhood. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's there when when a when a bad guy in a bad neighborhood wants control, they create fear, and when they create fear, they want you to be afraid, so that the next time when they come around, they will have an upper hand on you. Now. It could be that teacher is thinking that if I show if I show fear now, the next time she he comes around, I am going to be in trouble because I'm going to lose my student in the rest of my class. That's not what she's going through, going through in her mind. This is a game of play, you know, chess. That's how it goes. Well, that was a dumb chess game because she embarrassed herself because she can't fight. I don't believe that. She I don't believe that. Lesson. She couldn't fight. She embarrassed herself. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Controlled her classroom. I think if she had called the police, that would have been a place of control. So oh, every no. child know if they approach her, straight police station. Michelle, Michelle, know. calling the police in America is different from calling the police such a week. But they did call it down there and they came and they arrested him. What are you talking about? They came after the... You, you, I am saying, say, you can't be in a situation like that and picking up before I'm calling the police. What do you think going to happen? If he really wants to her, he's gonna follow her and hurt her. So that has nothing to do with anything. He has to show her strength. Yeah, that, that argument doesn't apply because she embarrassed herself. She can't fight. <laughs> What's that mean? They can't fight. I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> oh, you said that's a Diana, sorry. Um, that it, the, the comments are piling up on us, but I maintain my position, Stoughton. I'm sorry, I, I can back up now. Um, okay. I'm sorry that they, 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 the minister chose not to be here. We're looking, I was personally looking forward to hear about the interaction about with the 68th and the diaspora and how people could get involved. And, you know, it kind of egg on our face and a little bit embarrassing that we put it out there that we're going to have this person on and then at the last minute. So Minister. next time we know about put you out there. We don't uh, have no shame uh, tree on this show. You come, you go. We know we move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I understand what Michelle is saying that the teacher embarrassed is an embarrassment. The teacher is embarrassed, and yes, if if we choose to fight, we are going to be embar feeling embarrassed at the end of it, huh? It's, it's, it, it, it's inescapable that this is going to happen to us at some point in time. But I still maintain that it's a bigger thing than just yeah. the instance in Tivoli. It's a matter of how do we treat with um, parenting? How do we support parents? How do we support teachers? Yes, Miss um, East proposed that they spend an extra six months getting military training. <laughs> It might it ought not to be scoffed at, but we ought True. to teach them how to, to practice self-defense. Yes. And we, in the same vein, we have to teach them how to use restorative practices so that they look for another way to treat with indiscipline other than in an aggressive way. Well, that, that's such a nice way. Let, let's, let's recognize, let's recognize uh, Dr. Uh, Asburn Pinup is he, online so that to, to help us to put this thing into perspective. He's the ultimate teacher. She, um, Dr. Dr. Diana is the ultimate teacher. And and with both on, 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 on the show tonight, we must be able to get to the bottom of this. Okay, we can. But could I read some of the comments before we jump? Of in? course, of course. Welcome, Dr. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Leo. 
Thought you said, no, the poor teacher is going to have to leave her position in fear for her life. VM said, was there not a teacher in Florida that brought two guns to school? And I can say, I have a question. Was the teacher action right? Janice said, I feel scared for what the future children will be like in the next 10 to 20 years. Disha said, school is no longer a safe zone. It's a combat zone. The teacher versus student, stabbing, shooting. Watch them have time to read, write, and write. Sharon said, girl, please, embarrassed herself. Paula said, good night, everyone. VM Vic Veronique said, I agree with Leo. How dare you? That the teacher, <laughs> that's my friend. That the teacher took a defensive position oh, dear you. for an authority. She probably deals with this on a daily basis. Kids these days are a reflection of their homes and the communities that they grew up in. It's an unfortunate incident and my support is for the teacher. Anything this is a sport of moral decay in society. Well, that question, that question was a critical question. What was it again, um, Michelle? Was the was teacher action right? Was the teacher's action right? You know, it's, it's difficult to stay outside and judge mm -hmm. um, as to what is right or wrong. Um, the teacher is in a situation that did not begin the day of the incident. Um, it is a reality that is taking place here in Jamaica and uh, in the world, because you are hearing the issues in the United States, for example. And therefore, um, I don't think we should start to, to be judge and jury. What we really should be doing is to look at how do we put um, some proactive measures in place to, to, to deal with situations that are current. Um, I, I believe that we have, um, society has caught up with us over the years. Um, we had, society has been changing rapidly and we're, we're not changing in responding to it. We are reacting rather than responding. And um, there are three aspects. There's been proactive, you can respond or you can react. React is, is, is the desperate measure that they put in place at the last minute. And we are reacting now. And so part of the reaction is to start to say who to blame, who not to blame, etc. Um, we are so therefore we have to start put protocols, policies, procedures, and all those things in place to, 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 to guide teachers, students, everyone in this education environment, how we should behave, number one, and then how we should respond in case something like this should happen. And um, that we can now discuss as to how we proceed. But to, to put a, a, a jury and judge out there right now is not appropriate. I agree. You, you, make, you, you put it right. We, yeah, you're right. Because like even the child getting onto the campus being suspended, that needs to be fixed. Because that's a major problem. Yeah. And mm. are they allowed to have resources? But, 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 but like police officers like at schools in Jamaica? I don't know. Is it allowed? Like, you, you know, there, there, yes, they are actually. In fact, on the news this afternoon, this evening, we heard where the security, uh, well, the, the commissioner was saying that there were 200 uh, uh, um, policemen uh, who, who, like, which was officers, are placed in school across the island. So, yes, they are. Oh, yeah, but yeah, but uh, clearly, not enough. Have well, over 600 institutions is, is really not a comfort. Um, yeah. I, I, I quite agree with you that. It's a bigger issue than what we see, what we have observed in this in this video clip, and that we've always been reacting. I know we need to strategize as to what is the long term approach um, to to resolve or to begin to address. Because I don't think that we can resolve it in our lifetime, but to begin to address this this downward spiraling that we're seeing. Um, I think that we ought to consider as, as institutions preparing educators a little time off loosely for teachers. That teachers desperately coming out of COVID, then adding with this, this, this mental health challenge, compounding with this indiscipline um, that, that we're seeing in the classroom and in the wider society, Teachers need a little two, a, a two week where it's just focus on their well being before we take them back into the classrooms come September. If we don't do that, it is going to be worse next term. Question. I, I agree. 
Now, yeah, question, uh, um, Dr. Pinock, um, this is, we're talking about Tivoli. Yes. When I grew up, Tivoli was not a, 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 a walk in the park. Okay? Right. Uh, Tivoli is, is, is generally a space where crime occurred very, very quickly, very often, and, and almost perennially. And so, um, is this school a, still a typical neighborhood where this where, where crime occurs? And are these kids from a, 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 a community that's crime ridden? And are they different from another school some someplace out of Kingston? And and would this if this happened outside of Kingston? Would it would, would we expect it to happen more out of, out, of, out of Kingston or are we expecting it to happen inside of Tivoli every day? Because I'm thinking about the teacher and the teacher is going through in if, if Tivoli is what I knew what it was it, 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 it would be, then this school is is it would be a hard place. It's a premium place to live where you where, where you where you work. We get extra dollars. But, but, but you know, I don't know that you should but, ask the principal yeah, of, of yeah, Michael, Michael to answer. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but, but I, 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 I would respond by saying that um, we must guard ourselves not to stigmatize. Okay. And not to yeah. label. Yeah. And, and not to, you know, because we are seeing where crime, uh, there's no ownership of crime in Jamaica anymore. There's a time when we say uh, Kingston, this is called Kingston, kill some city because Kingston was the most violent. Now it's no longer so. Um, um, it, it is spread across the yeah, island. Yeah, they are in <laughs> Yeah, and if you if you are watching the videos that are, we are seeing on social media and the kind of violence that is popping up again with children yeah. up, all across the island, exactly. so it's now it's now a, a, a it's endemic to Jamaica. It seems or a pandemic to the world. <laughs> um, yes, and, yes. and so it's another pandemic, you know. That yes. is that is there's a mental and, crisis. And, there's a social gap. We talk about the learning gap and the academic gap. But it's a social gap. We forgot temporarily that social skills are learned, just like you learn the, the academics and the and the and the and the, and the, and the maths and the science and, and physics. Um, the social skills are learned. And if you're locked away for two years and didn't get a chance to socialize, when you get back out there, you get irritable and whatever it is, and you don't know this be patient with others, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And so we have to now address that social gap along with the mental issues that we are facing as a result of COVID and what it brought with it, the economic crisis and, and, and all displacement and turmoil. And so we are in a serious problem where we have to sit back and relax and, and try to address them one by one. Um, I, I agree with, 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 um, with my colleague, which, which speaks to the fact that teachers need to get some time off to reflect, to relax, to refresh, to get themselves back together and also to return to some good solid strategies exactly as to how we are going yes. to approach the next academic year yes. because it's not going to be business as usual mm -hmm. i just have a quick question do you know if there's anything in place to actually work with students you know like with after covid and its impact like any social services or anything that are being implemented for the new school year to assist these children mm -hmm. They had a program to find them in the yard or something, go to the yard, something, something yard for those who were not out. Anything? I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not so sure if I understood the question. Is it, are you I wanted to know if there's anything implemented with the impact of COVID on children, as you see, socialization and anything. Is there any program being implemented through the school system that will help to address that? Whether it is through counseling or something for students to get back. I'm sure there's a, there's a, there's a yeah. national wide scale program, but I know that there are existing counseling in schools and programs in schools, and um, each um, region, each whatever, have their own that they do. Um, I don't think, to be honest, that we have the resources to have a whole scale response. Remember, we are responding with the health sector regarding to the, with COVID. We are responding with the economic sector, trying to build back the economy and trying to get enough resources to carry out our daily functions. We are responding to the, are reacting to the war, the Ukraine war and the gas issue. And so it's, it's all a comp on the crime issue in Jamaica. So um, so we, we really have some problems. I want to sit back and, and again to reflect and to see how are we going to, to solve these, these problems. There are some other problems, uh, student versus student, that we see pop up. We see knives and and all kind of stuff going. I, I mean, and 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 
maybe I, I may be wrong, but most of the videos that I saw are female fighting female. I, I, did, did, did you see that trend? Most yes, of the I, I, I saw that. No, so we I, have not observed such a trend. <laughs> but I don't know if it's. <laughs> there are some comments. Paul said, <laughs> "We have the comments coming." Paula said, "Yes, sir." Jean said, "Every action bring reaction." Paula said, "We need to get to the root of the problem. Bad parenting. I would never dare do that when I was a child. We need social service interventions." VM said, "Would that you?" be charged with an assault with assault they charged him with something just said teachers are fed up Bisha said i believe he was charged with assault paula said agree stress is literally killing them just said these kids are evil no no paula said look at how the adults are behaving on social media sherry said nobody put this on the teachers just said right jeff said the meta universe is lawless and anything goes and it's what's raising our children Joe said, question to the principals. Our teachers offered annual training in de-escalation techniques. Nisha said, there's nothing in place in the US, much less at least my job provided aid. Janet said, I saw that too, Leo. Leo, the females, oh my. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like the, the de-escalation uh, yeah. and, and, and um, restorative justice, our restorative practices. I like, I like those, those, those two. Um, things that that we can literally employ in 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 our in our schools. I don't know how effective uh, it it would be in this case, but I, I just see this uh, as a as a as a as a as a, a microcosm of something that is brewing real badly. And and based on what Dr. Pinock has said about mental stresses and social issues and and all that, so I, it's it's it, it's it's really it's really a bad look for us. In here in the diaspora, looking at Jamaica, it creates a little bit more fear for us, in a way, um, fear for our, the, the people who are actually on the ground teaching. What will happen? What uh, you know? What are the other teachers feeling right now? Are they saying to themselves, "Lord, I wonder if this is going to happen to me. What if a, a guy going to come up and, and box me?" And uh, you know, what, how do I protect myself? And and all of that stuff that's, that's that's going through their mind. So, you know. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're right. We really have to. I, I mentioned some some time ago that we need a 60 40 or 70 30 system for, for a period of time where we, we focus 60 or 70 percent of our time on the social aspect of our society and our schools, and the 30 and 40 percent on the academics. And the reason why I say that is because um, I'm not playing down the value of the academics right now. But if you if you ask to a survey across the island or anywhere in this region, you're going to realize that a big or, or he, Biggest problem lies in our social social issues, if the, the decaying social fabric of the society. And if we want to get things back, we pay attention to it and we invest in it and rebuild it before we can start talking about you know real academic excellence. Because these, these schools need really need some intervention. The teachers need to be equipped with skills as we talk about de-escalation, etc. And in fact, they, they shouldn't be burdened. We deal with matters that seem to be the, the police duty, yeah. and, and therefore we have to find ways of ensuring that we protect our teachers. Our teachers are our most valuable human resource. They are the one who build everything from ground zero up to age 2025, 20, you know. And therefore, if we don't protect them, we're going to lose the, the base, the social base of our society. I have a question. I, I forgot. Did you say you're the principal from Micro Teachers College? Uh, you yes. know, I didn't do a, I didn't do a, a good job of introducing him. We're, we have Dr. <laughs> Dr. Asburn Pinock. He's the president of Micro College uh, University College, and and he's been a great uh, partner for us for for the longest time. Thank you for joining us. I'm so sorry I didn't do that. I got so excited to be on. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. I just have a question. I know we see this after COVID and the impact in the education system. Are they, I don't know if it's the right question, but in regards to how teachers are trained to go out into the you know the field, are, are they restructuring how they, the training is done and how they learn to interact with students? Or is it just a similar from prior years? Interesting you mentioned that because um, last week our, our VP of academics at, at the Michael 
brought a, a, a proposal and, 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 a, and a chat to show how we are going to be um, adjusting our training to bring in the psychosocial and those other aspects of the training that we need and to reposition ourselves as, as the as the Michael um, in making our presence felt in the system, you know? And, and so we, we, we are moving in that direction, but maybe we should have a national, you know, a national, uh, a national approach, approach to, to, to match the societal need. Mm -hmm. And so our teachers will be now fit for purpose. As I'm saying right now, we are, seem as if we are so engaged and, and, and preoccupied with drilling persons to pass exams exactly. and to satisfy the, the, those standardized tests. Mm -hmm. All the way up to university level, we seem to be so focused on that, that we are forgetting the competences and the skills required. And the competences are not just academic or, or, or you know, scientific competences, but they are social competences that we need to develop as a people. And we have to sit down as a, as a nation and decide how what kind of look do we want? How do we want our people to approach life, approach work, approach education, approach religion, approach anything you do? Our culture. I mean, we are losing a lot of our culture, um, our musical culture. Um, we have we have thrown away some. I think our 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 traditional and and whatever reggae, and I've grabbed on to others, which I'm not against diversifying. But you can't throw away, the, you know, the classical things. Yeah, you can't and show I'm this, yeah. and the, the Japanese and the Europeans are, 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 are taking them up. Yeah. And sooner or later, if you want to hear good reggae, you might, might have to go to Europe or Japan. Or, <laughs> or Japan. <laughs> yes. And so we have to decide what That's kind of Jamaica we want and who is a Jamaica mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and the kind of competences of a Jamaican at age 5, at age 10, at age 15, at age 20, and at age 40. And then we work towards that. Yes. <laughs> Oh um, my God. So I may respond to that question oh, as well, Michelle. Um, I just quite agree with, with, with Dr. Pinock that there needs to be a broader approach. At Catholic College of Mandel, for the past three years, we've been inserting in the teacher preparation social emotional learning and also restorative practices. So I, I, I offer a short course introducing, and I'm always have at hand my cards, my, my cue cards for restorative practices, because I happened upon a consortium and joined, got invited by the International Institute of Restorative Practices to join a consortium for restorative practices in higher education. And I was the only institution outside of the US that was invited to participate. And I told them earlier this week, Month yesterday, when we had our final meeting for the two year session, that what I want to do is to invite my colleagues in higher ed to let, to, to let me facilitate an exposure to restorative practices and how they have used it for years yeah. in the classroom in, in, in the US. So when this article said to me that the student was suspended, this is something that they don't do anymore in the US because they use restorative practices. That alone is a, is, is, is a, is a method that we can use to address the social challenges that we have and the mental issues that, that, that evidences in the social concerns that we're And, I, and I, I, like, I like restorative practices and, and, and I wonder, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Um, Dana, uh -huh. uh, 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 can Jamaica handle that? Can, yes. yes. I, I mean, yes. It, because it, it requires the meeting of the minds. It needs yes. uh, There's nothing in this world that Jamaica cannot handle. <laughs> okay. If you want to be the worst of anything, we can do it. If you want to be the best of anything, yeah. we yeah. can do it. All right, okay. so, so in this case, in this case, the, the kid who, who boxed the teacher, and the teacher need to be in the same space. Right. So kids, and the class. You know, the, kids, the kids who were impacted, right? All, all of them, the whole the whole class and, is not. I mean, I hear that the principal that you the principal fainted. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know that but means, I just understand what, what made him faint. what made him faint. What you know, I want to know. But just the that. idea that this could happen in your institution would that make you fit one drop down. I mean Leo, oh, right. Leo, Leo um listen. Yes. 
as I said before, we don't know what does that mean in that school over right, the people. Right. And sometimes day by day, everything is come and it's the stress and the things are compounded. You know? So you start day one and this happens, day two and day three, and every day you go to school and then something happens. Yes. And then today you say the final straw. It's and you just and then it goes on, goes viral. Yeah. Yes, so, and then you, have, you have a responsibility for that school, you know, whether you're at home at nights or you, you're at school during the day. And so so all this stress you see happening to teachers is that because teachers take their work over them, they can't avoid it. It's part yes. of their being. And that's why we have to protect them and ensure that we, we do something special for teachers. They're an endangered species. And if we're not careful, we're going to find ourselves in deep problems. Yes, I think it's true. I miss out a comment, um, but Paula said we are putting too much weight on teachers. Everything starts at home. June said in a classroom setting, a teacher must have the ability to assess the situation and respond. Waiting for backup may not be an option in a classroom setting. Believe me, I've been in teaching for a very long time. If you haven't walked in a teacher's shoes, you really are not able to give an objective response or suggestion as to what a teacher does to manage classroom of 30. Pause, Michelle, and let me just pick up for those that you missed. Um, uh, somebody said that they agree with Leo that we can't read that. Sandra said, hello, my beautiful people. Sorry, I'm late work. Sandra Vincent says, trust me, I felt really bad about what from what I watched and I started fretting more. No one has respect nowadays. And then June says, both restorative practices and justice, but we have to train children and teachers to get to the point where they can be done. There is also training for physical restraint. I had to do the training regularly in the UK and I've done some where I am currently. Teachers need to be skilled up. Um, Keon Thompson says, good night, a behavioral therapy or intervention should be put in place to provide help for students and teachers. Heslop says, are they reaching out to other countries to see what techniques are being used to assist the teachers? Paula says, we need social intervention. I think that's where you were. We need I mental- Thomas, we in they just said, okay, both Students and teachers are stressed. The academic expectation wasn't adjusted after being home for two years. It was unrealistic to perform at same level. The school system failed everyone. Janice said, an additional question to that, are these present teachers entering the field of teaching because of what teaching should be, or they choose teaching for another way of getting an income? Just said, shouldn't you really can't that? answer that. <laughs> people will join it because that's their conviction, and people will join it because that's the only thing them think them can manage. That's always been so. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> said, shouldn't the teachers be protected as well? The escalation skills are needed, yes, but there should be protocols in place to assist a teacher what may have a student that's having a behavioral issue where perhaps an alert can be sent out to school resource officers or several trained teachers. Disha said, both my daughter's teachers told me she's only there to teach. She wasn't interested in correcting a student inappropriate be behavior. I had to intervene. You know, um, let, me, let, me, let me jump in here. So the, one of the things that most co other countries do, and especially in the United States, they're, they're very careful about how they plan their next step. So they plan like 20 years, 10, 20 years, 40 years ahead. And so I, I see how best we could plan for effective restorative practices and de-escalation. If we start at the early childhood level, right? If we start, so I, I was watching a video yesterday and, and, and I know it was not scripted. It's a little boy who his mother sent him to the shop to buy chicken, right? And Milk. he went to, to the shop and by Bula. Bula. Yeah. When he came back, his mother said, Hold on there. I sent you to buy chicken. You go buy Bula. He said, Yeah, his boy was about six years old. And or, or less. To make porridge. Or make something like that. Right. Okay. And so, as the little boy said, Well, I bought Bula. And, and he's taking out the Bula now to feed his younger sister while his mother is talking to him. And not being his mother, as, not, not being mother, no no our um, attention and i said to myself okay where did we go wrong here right who, who is right and who is wrong who who did make the right decision and was the parent uh, did, did, does she have control of the family talk, talk to me 
Well, I kind of like it when I watch the video. The child was expressing himself because he gave an explanation as to why he bought the bulla. He didn't want the porridge anymore. He wanted bulla. And the mother was like, did you consider the other people? We wanted porridge. So I like that conversation, but I think she should have put down her foot in regards to discipline. But I like how she engaged. What, what, what would that look and feel like when you say put down her foot? What do you mean? Well, that I guess, I don't even know. To be honest, exactly. when it comes to parenting, you know, for me, as a four-year-old. But so uh, to let the child know that, he, you know, like he can make those decisions. Like if she gave a, give an instruction, he needs to follow it. But I love the engagement of him corresponding, expressing himself. Um, I didn't see the video, <laughs> so I can't speak to it. But let me ask, is that likely to happen in a typical Jamaican household? Mm -mm. I don't know. Mm -mm. Oh, um, you know, lick him down long time. Is it? Is it? Asbrin. No, I said no, and that's why I, I think, and that's why oh, I think Michelle yeah. liked it because <laughs> the mother spent some time to engage him. Yes. So could hear what he was saying. Yes. Um, I don't know what happens after. I mean, she may have you know, sat down with him and, yeah. and said to him, "Listen, um, even though you prefer this, and I can appreciate that, you next time you have to know consult with me before right. you know, you know, disobey my orders." Right. Because I'm the adult here, and you are the child, and so you 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 know you put in some some level of of authority. Yeah. Um, okay. So 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 you see your restorative practices and the escalation because that could have gone. No, and more than that. That could have yeah. gone way. Look at the 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 fostering of critical thinking skills. Yes. yes. In a simple day to day interaction between a parent and a child. Mm -hmm. We don't have to teach critical thinking in school as if it's a subject. Exactly, exactly. And that's why we, I think we are overburdening ourselves in, in cramming these things because the, in everything you do, interacting with your students or your child in a in most informal way, you can teach critical thinking there. And in fact, these are the skills we want for our kids when they to, to grow up, you know, to be innovative, to take initiative to do all these Yes. So I yes. went out, put initiative that, listen, I don't want no more porridge. I'm going to buy bula. Bula is nice. Yeah, but sure. is. He did. Now, okay, so he, he also broke, broke some rules. You know, so? yes. Yes. Therefore, you need to probably put him back in line, but not to abuse him or whatever it is, but to encourage that kind of thinking, but in a more organized and disciplined way. Because in real life, you have rules, you have laws, you have protocols, you have procedures, and right. you must understand that. Right. <laughs> You know, it's, I, I find it really funny because whenever I do a training in restorative practices, one of the examples which I find, and I mean, is like poking fun at Jamaicans, but I always say that if you take the typical Jamaican parent out at supermarket, particularly these days now, and the child goes into the supermarket and pick up oranges and did not on the list, there is no dialogue about orange and the value of, of orange. The vitamin <laughs> Content. You just simply put it back into me and I'm going to buy orange. Yeah, <laughs> but Michelle, no, if Michelle goes out with her son in, in yeah, Florida and he picks up orange, she going to tell him about the vitamin C content where they're grown predominantly. Yeah, I do have a lot of conversation. That we're not buying it today, but we buy it another time. There's a conversation. You yeah. see the, the critical thinking and the learning and the facilitation that takes place. Yeah, yeah. Man, a child must be a, a, a child must be seen and not heard. What are you talking about? Well, I should let them make speak up because I gonna beat them if them don't speak up. <laughs> yeah, but not to snitch on anyone. But I remember like going into the store. You hear from before you go in. Don't even look. At <laughs> <laughs> don't. And a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with economics, you know. Because <laughs> if if you if you if you pick up something outside of what we are we are, we are you know we, we have done. I mean, I can't pay for it, yes. you know, yeah. and therefore you have to be careful. And the other thing is that if you pick something up and you break it or open yeah. it or something, then it's a lot of it is economics. Yes. So you have that 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 that, that um check that dollars and cents discussion there too. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. You see, dollars and cents drive too much of what we do or what we not we don't do, um, and I think that is time for family to consider that it, there is far more that needs to be done beyond a dollar and a dollar value. Yes, so I brought that up because I, I, I see where there's a need for us to start at this level, right? At, at the, 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 the early childhood level 
and we must spend more money, more effort, more energy into early childhood to making this. So that ten years down the line, we have a better Jamaica. Twenty years down the line, we have a better Jamaica with better with better prepared students, and and you'll see the impact when they get to primary school and high school and, and college. Sure. Yeah, you know, and that's why Leo, I agree with you. Up, up, uh, uh, you know, up until that point, when you talk about spend, I prefer to use the word invest. Okay. Because when we use the word spend, it becomes a burden. When you invest, you expect returns. And yeah. if you invest and you protect your investment, you know, okay. in our kids, in our students, in our schools, in our education system, then you talk about later on, you're going to reap. So, and we see it every day. Now it's graduation time all over the world. And we're seeing, you know, in this hemisphere, as a matter of fact, and we're seeing persons. And so, you remember the day when you started out paying the, 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 the school fee at, at the kindergarten level, etc., high school, college. But now you're reaping that, yes. you know. And yes. so it's an investment. And I think, in fact, our grandparents, my parents, and other parents in the past saw it as such. They tell about they're gonna sell the cow. They're gonna do this to send the boy to school because the boy mustn't come out to be like me as a farmer, etc. You know, and therefore they want to see the, the value added to their children. But then that's that's that, well, there was also another one there too, uh, husband. Yes. That that this this is my retirement. <laughs> exactly. And and whether it's, it's a wrong concept or not, they yes. had the concept of investment. Yes. So we have to carry on that aspect of it, and 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 therefore we will be afraid to invest in our in our early childhood right. system and our primary system because. If we get the, ch the child or the children um, focus at age 13, 14, 15, we are good to go. But you know, in, in America, people with PhDs and masters teaching at the early childhood level. Yes, because that's where the investment should be. Oh my God, yes. Yes. That is yes. That yes. Is Michelle, you need to catch up with it. Jeff Meikle says, yeah. should students be protected as well? De escalation skills are needed, yes, but there should be protocols in place to assist a teacher who may have a student that's having a behavioral issue where Absolutely. perhaps an alert can be sent to a school resource officer or something, something. Michelle, we're talk he's talking about exactly. no. We're talking about a build up from early childhood so that we see the benefits later on. I, I you know, okay. I understand. But we have a system right now that is not fully comprehensive with all of the various no, you know, okay. nicks and knacks that we that we need. You, uh, talk, you, you, you said it earlier, you know, Leo. You talked about a twenty-year plan. Yes. Um, most of Jamaica's plans are five-year <laughs> election Unless. plans. You know, so you you get into power. And you want to do some quick fix so that they can win the next election and you have one of the five year quick fix. And this has been so from, from 1962 or before. So, you know, and both major political parties are guilty of this. And so we need to sit down and have a bipartisan, you know, and a, a national consensus. Education. And, 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 and education. And we need to depoliticize education completely and take it out of the political realm yes. and look on it as a national treasure. And national development and sit down and say okay for between now and 30 years time this is what we want mm -hmm. and you you work to that you know that's true janice said dying with laughter jean said a milk to make porridge paula said so if the child is not listening to the parents what are teachers to do what about teaching parenting skills yes i said where is that on the internet tricia said reteaching it's not an easy road Every issue to be fixed must begin at early childhood level. Honing critical thinking skills, conflict resolution, money management, everything. Philip said good night. Oh my, in hospital. So a brief comment. Oh, we need a more vibrant PT yeah. too, so as to get more community and parental involvement. Hold, hold, hold your thought right there because I want to recognize Philip Demetrius. He, he um is in the hospital, I, I think from last week, and um he's having some some issues and we want where, to where, where is he he's in jamaica no man he's right here in florida and mm -hmm. we want to want to send some love out to 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 philip tonight and uh, you know hanging there hanging there my brethren hanging there you know 
uh, we, we, we're here for you, you know, we, and, and anytime you can call, we, we, told, we told you this before, you know, if you're up on the hospital bed and you want to call in and show, we, we're all right with that, all right? Mm -hmm. So please go ahead and, and, and know that we love you and we want your, your best to, 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 to yeah. come for us. Jane said, I'm hungry and cannot wait on the porch to cook. He was hungry. <laughs> That's, That's a good one. That's a good one, you know. <laughs> No, Campbell said exactly the lack of conversation. Paula said, Campbell, that's why parental counseling is needed. Jeff said parental counseling, yes, and it can be done through parent-teacher meeting or school open house. Janet said, I think my last comment tonight is, I hope that the child plus his parents come publicly and apologize to the teacher and school and get back to the continuation of learning. BM said, all the best, Philip. God's blessing always, speedy recovery, Phillips. Um, seeing that I have a child that is in um, preschool, early child, I do agree that everything starts there because how I see how they interact with those children, like even if they fight, how they help them to resolve their issues and talk about stuff. Like even if they see one of their friends crying, they go over to comfort them. You know, like I like how they're teaching and they talk to them, explain everything thoroughly. So I do agree. And yes, they are all doctors, like his teachers, like a few of them are doctors. Wow. Yep. And 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 we're we're still at the level where we're we're getting free service. And I, I, I you know this one thing that I that I disagree with our we're still at the level where where we're using community people to you know oh, and it's not a bad thing. You know, but 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 it's bad if we want to elevate education, it starts at that level. And I believe that some of our best resources should be there. And, and, and so the government is, is only spending, um, you know, putting one educator, one like not license, but one trained uh, teacher. Trained teacher in an elementary school, and they only have 300 oh, elementary in school. Class, yeah. Early childhood. You know, and, and yeah. That's, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm in early childhood school, and we have three. We have three thousand of them, and only three of them, three them uh, uh, have it. I, mean, I have a problem with that because it means that twenty seven hundred schools, legitimate schools, are suffering. Kids are going through that process, and they're not going to be ready when they get to to to, to, to primary school. They're not going to be ready. They're not going to be not generated optimally, generated. Not, not optimally ready. Or, or, or you know, yes. Uh, they, they won't well, be. Well, the research has shown that the first thousand days are very critical to the development yes. of the child. And so that has to be taken into consideration. It has to. Yes. It has to. Yes, and it is being yeah. taken into consideration. The Governor General has made such a declaration. So wait, and, and the advanced people not sleeping. I am sure that um, it, it will be... Hold on, the declaration is just to say that 2022 is... But at least a declaration, so somebody recognizes the need for it. So it's for us as educators to push it. And uh, when people stop sleeping, then they, they probably put it into action. Dr. Yeah. Pitt and, and, and Dr. Diana, do you do you have an active early childhood um, education preparation program for teachers? Because yeah. I spoke with a gentleman today. He yeah. says, Leo, I am the first male early childhood education teacher that was trained in Jamaica. And that wasn't a long time ago. That's like 10, 20, 10, 20 years ago. Right? What is a female as a female? Uh um you know job and um so, so, and i can't believe that okay and, and in fact in fact we don't have many persons coming in for that sector at all because it is felt that it's you know the, the, the secondary train the teacher is is seen as as the more prestigious yeah. and the higher you go is the more prestigious so we are forgetting about the base and the foundation and it's time for us to rebrand it's, it's all about a rebranding. Rebranding. Mm -hmm. And we talk about coming together with a national consensus and a rebranding and refocusing your resource. Because sometimes you have to use the resource, you know, to, to, to make the point, to say what you want. Yes. And the federal government in the US does that all the time. Use this resource to pump into where you want to be able to change. And if you want our 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 you know our behavior and our, our attitude towards early childhood to change is to is to Lift the standard, elevate it, um, put the, your best persons there, 
um, and invest your resources there, and you'll get people to uh, be attracted. And you, to okay, so so I, I guess you can be the next. Either you or Diana are going to be the next Minister of Education and extend yourself a little bit. Minister, extend I'm your budget. Prime Minister, yes. Minister, so, so, so. And extend yourself. Extend your, your, your budget a little bit and re shift some money and say, listen, I want 100 um, early childhood schools across the island in the next two years and this money is going to go there to build those and then after that i'm going to shift some more money to pay teachers to get there can we no, it's, 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 again leo because it, it, it says it takes a village to raise a child no i'm saying it takes a nation to educate a child and so not just a minister it is yes. the entire government the entire opposition the entire nation the private sector the parents okay. we all have to come together and decide that this is our priority and this is how we're going to move. Okay. Yeah, could I do a logical suggestion when Leah was talking about being the minister? I, I honestly believe that you guys are doing a great job where you are and you guys are more focused on creating the skills. So from Michael creating the best teachers to Dr. Diana Catholic you know, College doing it, I think that's where you guys need to be. If you were the minister, you'd be so distracted with every other area. The voice of reason. No, we can't argue with an attorney, no. The voice of reason. Justice minister speaks. We have. <laughs> but, but you know what? Also, while you guys were talking, I realized I like, could my son's school also with like for development like they do have like psychologists like in the school but it's psychologists like have their students oh, train okay yeah so they have like a class for the whole year and they work you know with all the students and they you know like help and teach they work along with the teachers yeah, so they you know like any skills are help the teachers to improve on how they interact so this is offered by the government though but they have all these different entities working with the children to make them. You know, I don't want Dr. Pinnock's words to go in vain here because it's, it's a very important uh, suggestion. To, it's, it's where all of us, all of the businesses, all of the ministries, all of government, PSPI, PSOJ, and all of hotels, you know, it shouldn't be very hard for us to talk to our business owners. We're, we have so much business owners with so much businesses that are doing great that I don't see why it, that we can't build 150, 300, 300 200 schools in, in, in a couple of years. And it's really yeah, it's yeah, a possible. You, you know of the Glen Christian um, Foundation. Yes. Yeah, man, I was there last week. It like was two state of the art school. One in yes. And one in Kingston. Now, I can imagine if every businessman in Jamaica has a capacity. It can be like, it can be like. like that. Yeah. We could have done wonder. So, oh my God. Evidence that it can happen. And therefore, I'm hoping that it's not too late for us, you know, to work towards that consensus. One of the things that that, that principal said to me is that because where the school is, is in a ravaged area, it's a depressed area. And, right. and, and she said that the school did not have running water one day and the whole community bring buckets of water to the school. They're very proud of it. Protecting their investment. Protecting their investment. Yes. And, and if, we, if we develop that culture, you see, that's why we say, we believe that Jamaican people don't learn to appreciate and but they know good things and they learn to appreciate it. And, and, you know, so we have to continue uh, um, investing in our people. Yeah, there's a lot of comments coming in. Yes, we do. We need to embrace education system that uplift humanity and not a system to rule and divide that has been the norm. We need to teach our youngsters to think for themselves early. Trisha said, this is, how, this is now an early childhood commission to address such, there is no an early childhood commission to address such concerns. Campbell said, but at the same yeah, there time, always was an early childhood commission. An early childhood commission has existed for a long, long time. time, and they've long been building and contributing. So that is not a new set of Yes, I get more promotion. Um, Cam said, but at the same time, ensure that the curriculum at early childhood school is not all about academics. 
While kids need to learn the ABCs and the one, two, three, focus on socialization skills, the no, social and emotional about. aspect. That's what we're talking about. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Paula yeah. Chan said, we have always had the problem of availability of qualified teachers, yet Jamaica has put out some of the best teach, best scholars. What's the difference between then and now? Well, there's always a division. I mean, there, I mean, there are always the 10 best schools in the island who are always putting out the best, the, the, the okay. 1,000 best students. I, I mean, uh, colleges. Yeah. no, I didn't call any name. And I'm, uh, we're not, we're not acknowledge, acknowledge no current and college two people on this year. We're not, we're not, we're not oh, acknowledge anybody, college nobody from current and college tonight, all right? Oh, you didn't know that you were. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, right I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. Did you know? <laughs> oh, and you not? Oh. <laughs> we're not. Act, we're not. Act, act no, college. <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't on YouTube, so let me read. Um, Beverly Frey said, Patricia said good night, everyone. Beverly said good night, good evening. This is about a lack of respect for persons in authority. The teacher should have probably walked away, but I do understand the teacher wanted to show to show she was in charge. Um, very true, Didi, as teachers need respect to rejuvenate, feel appreciated, and care for themselves. Beverly said, good question, Michelle. Students need res resources, too, to help them deal with social isolation, anger, and the needs in general. Yeah. Oh, and Madri Duffa says, hello. She's just tuning in. I think Madri is in the UK, so we appreciate you joining any wish we yeah, that's late huh? um, yeah that's late I, think I mean that's early early <laughs> morning yes <laughs> <laughs> where, where does that teacher go now um asburn what, what what happens to her um what happens i mean the school gonna need some counseling i hope that they're putting some oh some counseling issues together but what, for the teacher herself what happens need some counseling and reassurance and and support support and and, and not to not to, to it's a time to judge and tell her what she should have done and all these yes. things. Yes. Uh, basically to support her because she's human and, and I and I and I know that she probably playing back in her head that it could have been different. Could have done, what, you know, what else she could have done. done. <laughs> and I don't want her That's to true. feel the guilt feeling, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Um, and so, 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 so so she and as well as the student, you know, because we don't want to lose anybody. Um, and therefore we really need she needs some some level of counseling. And, and I said for support and reassurance. Is she gonna go back to that school? There. Huh? Is she I gonna go back to that school? I don't know if she's gonna go back. She can, she can. And, and, and I'm hoping that there's no security risk to her. Yeah, um, I hope it ends right that. there. And, and so we have to be very careful to protect her. Maybe she needs some time off to, to, to relax and to take a breather. Yeah. To because we, we also know, I know that you, you mentioned you're, you're, you're trying to be very um, uh, politically correct there when you say there's no security issues, but we, we also know that parents of that child, you know, if if Did they are... Is there a security issue? You can't say that. No, no, no. no. I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying I hope... He doesn't, doesn't know. know. He doesn't know. Oh. And I'm, I'm, I'm putting the words there, the, the practical words that, that, you know, we hope that, you know, because we've seen parents get off on teachers and so forth. So we hope that that's not going to happen. We hope that there's no retribution. No, no, not that kind of foolish is there. That we can we can bring her back to school and she's okay. But yeah. but but we're talking about the teacher and the student. What about the principal? He basically fell down. Like he's going to need. Well, assistance. look here, Michelle. The whole institution the need whole a reset. Institution. Yeah, like the whole institution, the whole system of education need a reset. But right now, the first group that need that reset is one that school down there that the teacher had that unfortunate incident, and all the others that have had such instances they all need a reset. And what does that mean? It means that they need to re-engage students differently. They need to make teachers feel like they are safe and respected within it. So they need the PTA and the parent community support. Husband said it well, it's the whole nation that we need to do it. And we need yeah. to start by saying, okay, reset. Them need two days a break where all them doing is party. And if it's dance, they must keep. If that is for them thing down there, then dance, keep at the party. Everybody yeah. and done. Move on, step out. That's yeah. true. We have 10 minutes left, so we can Okay, uh, some more we, comments before. Okay. Um, After that, we give we give um we let Asburn close the show, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, okay. but I have a comment Omar before. Said, okay. Adwer, all right. All right. William said she may leave for the States. Omar said no. Paula said she needs a transfer. Campbell said she needs some time of support and change of environment. Yes. Angela said she needs to leave the school. I wouldn't chance it. Cheryl said <laughs> most of our qualified teachers have left the island and are making significant impacts on the US, Canada, and the UK. All right. Doris said, yes. I believe the teacher should go <coughs> to another school. Um, Erica said, I don't know all the facts in the video, but the student hitting the teacher and teacher having to fight back was disturbing to see. Counseling needed okay both, both sides. Both Paul sides. said the committee needs to come together, counseling, self-assurance, and dignity. That was the last one. Oh, over to you, Dr. Diana. No, no, Diana, Diana says you want oh, to. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I just want to use the opportunity to recognize a former teacher at Clarendon College, Mrs. Monroe. Mrs. Monroe um, passed uh, two mm -hmm. weeks ago, mm -hmm. and so I want to offer condolences to her family. She was 92 years old, and she taught literature and English language, oh. and she was just a wonderful teacher. She will be missed, um, and so I want to say a shout out to her children, um, I ran into her son earlier today, Norman. He was on his way in from, from Japan. And I just want to say to the rest of the family, we, your clan and college family, friends and sisters and brothers are with you, supporting you. Yes, and let me endorse that because I, I know her very well. And her son, Norman, <laughs> Philip, and, and Marlene, and uh, I don't and remember the, the hope. Yes. You know? Listen, man, this, this is not a clan and college thing, all right? This is... This is not <laughs> Wherever we go, we make it turn and come. <laughs> that's that's who we are. You know? That level of confidence. Move on, Jamaica. We're here. We're here. Yes. All right, take it, uh, take it, Asburn. You have a few minutes on the floor. Tell, tell the people what you want to tell them. You know, I want to tell us that, as I said before, um, we grew up knowing that education is a key. And um, our parents did not have the legacy of, of, of the, the resources to, to leave for us but they left us with a good solid base and we have to protect it and we have to ensure that we do it through our teachers our teachers are, are what i call it are the greatest multiplier effect they have a large influence in society and over the years we have taken that for granted and, and i want to make a parallel here with west Indies cricket over the years we had a, a set of talented players who came at, at the right time and they dominate the world and they went in there with their commitment with their talents, with their heart, with their passion, etc., and we we enjoyed it while it lasted, but did not look beyond the days when they would retire. 1981, 1981 to 1987, right? Right. right. <laughs> From the 70s to today. 70s. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and and so, at, at when they started to retire, we did not put in place something more permanent and deliberate to ensure we have a continuation of this kind of standard. We did it with teaching, where we, we, we started with a committed um, set of people who went in there, didn't, were not very well paid, but were highly respected. And they went in and did a marvelous job in educating the nation. But over the years, we enjoyed that until society began to change and value system changed. And if you're not driving a certain car or having a certain amount of money or whatever it is, then you're a value system rank. And so the, the, so the entertainers and DJs and all, everyone come. Scammers. Camera lights, action, you know, um, took the focus away from the teachers. And, and therefore, persons now no longer want to become because the, the money not flowing, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We have to now start to invest in our education system and invest in teachers and to ensure that teachers are properly trained, that they are not only trained to teach the academics, but they are trained to teach the social skills, et cetera, et cetera. Um, for example, teachers' colleges have not been invested in um, to, to a large extent. In the last, what, maybe 40 years, you know, there have been a, a, you know, a, a lack of investment in, in that area. And so we really need to look at the teachers' colleges, the teacher institutions, and also, at the early childhood, those two is where it starts. And we have to do that to ensure that we protect our human resource because our human resource is our most valuable, valuable resource. resource. Yes. And teachers are the foundation of that human resource. Just to, just to back you up here on the, 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 um, 
this, the, 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 not the false sense, but the displaced sense, uh, th thieves sprayed, no, they spray painted cameras and steal $8 million from Western Union in a rock of a sense. Yes. In your, your neck of the wood, right? Rock of yes. You know, I've seen so many things happen in Clarendon in the past two months. I mean, every day there was Clarendon this, Clarendon that. What the hell is the Orochomes are doing with eight million dollars for teeth? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Leo, we we not we not we, we start to hear this because again is a clear reflection of what how the society is falling apart. Yes. Okay? Yes. A Western Union in Arkabesa mean little remittance money for some community members. Exactly. Yes. Them don't see the value of that. No. But we continue to pray. Yes. Yes. Ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Pinock. Thank you so much, so much for, for, for putting some sense in our way because we there are uh, you whole night before you come you know, about I am hitting on Diana and Diana hitting on Michelle, and then you just come and just balance everything out. So we're happy. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. All the best. Yeah, right. Cool. Thank you. Thanks to all.